Or do you want to go from one to five? Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It doesn't matter. My list is not in any. It's not in a. Uh, oh. from, it's not ranked. In gotcha. my okay. list, so it doesn't matter. We could go five to one, one to five. Okay. All right. All right. Good. All right. So I'm gonna start from because my I actually did rank mine. I did have like an honorary mention, but okay. I want to start okay. from the bottom of my list. So all right. Let's kick it off with my. Fifth actress that I that I love and I think that she's she's great. She made it on my list is mm-hmm. Lupita Nyong'o. Every year, poop. Now, for obvious reasons, she's amazing. Like, you know, I first watched her on Twelve Years a Slave, and I love that movie. I think she did an amazing job in that. Um, and then my, I want to say my second experience watching her was on the, in the movie Us. There was a J- uh, uh, Jordan Peele movie. Like, she did an amazing job. She really, truly did. And she's, no, I'm, I'm lying. Wakanda, the, um, Black, Black Panther was my second, right. That was my second experience with her. And then I watched, um, uh, you know, Us with um, for, uh, Jordan Peele movie. I just think that she's amazing. I think that um, she's very versatile in like how she acts. Um, it always, in like amazes me how people who come, who have different dialects and accents, how they can come in and like really master uh, an American quote unquote accent. Like, and yeah. she's one of them. It's, I mean, I, you know, she doesn't really have like a thick accent, but you can hear like a little bit of an accent in her, in her when she speaks. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I love her. I think that um, she, she did an amazing job in those movies. And she's, she's a chocolate sister and she's a Pisces too. So I had to rep for her. Period. I love I love her. I love her yes. too. So I think that's a great choice. Um mm-hmm. it's funny because I do love her but and I didn't even think I like I, I she didn't cross my mind when I was when I was writing my list, but I think she's definitely fit to and has definitely earned her spot to make mm-hmm. it in somebody's top five. Exactly. Okay, so my first and I I didn't rank mine, but so who I have at number five, which I hope I'm pronouncing her name properly. Is um Alfred Woodard <gasps> like aka Wanda, <laughs> aka Wanda from Holiday Heart? I mean, this woman has oh. a plethora of work that she's done, but that her role as Wanda, she played Wanda in Hol- Holiday Heart, where she played a drug addicted mother. The way this woman did that, like oh. she had me. First of all, yes. Holiday, y'all, if y'all haven't seen Holiday Heart, get yourself on YouTube. It's on there for free. Watch Holiday Heart. Like, yep. if you don't know Holiday Heart, you need to get on Holiday Heart. I oh, came up with that movie. Me and my grandma, I don't know what I was going to watch in that movie <laughs> at like <laughs> seven or eight, but you know, that movie resonated with me in ways that I can't talk, like that's for another video, but the way she executed that role just set like the precedent for like, just how I respect the work she's done since. And I think that um, she's she's probably for me, like one of the most versatile actresses there are. And I, I just love her so, so much. And I think that she solidified her spot with that yes. role and that really put her on the map, I think. 
So yes. for me, so definitely number five, Alfred Woodard. And I hope I'm pronouncing yes. her name correctly. You did. And yes. oh my goodness, I'm like, I'm how did I forget her? I love no, that woman. But I know this was gonna happen. Like I bet you you're gonna say people that I'm gonna, oh my God, how did right. I not, <laughs> do not have her and vice versa? So exactly. And I wanna add too, I loved her in Crooklyn. Cause remember she yeah. was the mother in Crooklyn. Yes. 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 Oh my God. That Crooklyn is my my like one of my favorite favorite films. So yes, I love her. Mm -hmm. Oh, great choice. Thank All right, you. so my fourth. Wait, yeah, because we're gone. So my my fourth actress, favorite actress, um, her name is Elizabeth Moss. Mm -hmm. Now Elizabeth Moss is um, the star of um, the show The Handmaid's Tale. Mm. This like this queen is just phenomenal mm -hmm. in that show. Now I can't say that I've seen a lot of other shows or movies with her in it. I did see like. She was actually in Us as well, which is oddly enough, she was in that movie. But um, I saw her in another movie, I think it was like Invisible Band or something like that. She did good, but I didn't really care for the film. But this show in itself, A Handmaid's Tale, like it just embodies every, like it's, it's such an amazing show. And the, the way that she just like, embodies that that role like she just owns it and like she, any any kind of obstacle that she comes across she she just goes through it like the the way any like the way women do every day like she just mm -hmm. she em epitomizes what women women's strength women you know respect like it's just oh, it's just an amazing amazing show so i think elizabeth moss does not get the credit she deserves like she's an amazing actress I want to like explore some more movies with her or like shows with her that, that she's like starring in. But this show, like she's just fantastic in it. And I got to give her her flowers because mm -hmm. Homegirl is great. So Elizabeth Moss, Handmaid's Tale, she's my, my fourth choice. I'm trying to get somebody else over oh, here. I mean, when you That's were, our Handmaid's Tale. When you were saying that, I was like, yeah, I think I'm supposed to start watching that. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, last, it's the last season right. coming up. So you got, come on, you have time, but. <laughs> yes. But Elizabeth Moss is amazing. So yeah, she she's definitely on my list after watching that show, like amazing, amazing. I definitely look forward to watching it and I am. Mm -hmm. I am. Real quick, because we're gonna side note real quick. She wants to talk trash on this video in front of y'all, but she don't ever watch anything I try to get her to watch. Ever? Um, Ever. Wait, let me watch. Where you? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think too. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I know I actually had that on my list for a long time. But since you've been giving me reviews about about it, it makes me definitely want to push to watch it more. But I think what you just did was a great transition because you said something that resonates with my my mm -hmm. with my fourth choice mm -hmm. um, for a number four on my list when you said that Elizabeth Moss doesn't get the credit she deserves, and that's how I feel about this actress that I'm about to name, mm -hmm. who is the amazing and beautiful Lynn Whitfield. Oh my gosh, she's a Yes. AKA Josephine Baker, AKA Lady May from Greenlee. So oh, I just, yes. I said, I definitely feel like Lynn Whitfield is underrated. She does not get the recognition she deserves to me in that, in that yeah. world she's in. I think, it's just something about like, and this is just how she makes me feel from watching any role she plays. Her delivery, her voice, oh. just her freaking voice. Amazing. And the way she delivers her lines is, mm -hmm. is like almost, you know, unmatched. Like, and not, and not to say nobody could do it as good as her, but she just executes in her lines in such a way that Aside from her facial expression and everything else she brings into yes. her characters, her voice is captivating. Yes. And I, like, she is my, I mean, oh. from Josephine Baker, from Lady Maid to the damn mama and the Cheetah Girls. Like, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I love me some Lynn Whitfield, okay? I think yes. that um, she she's definitely one of those actresses that that takes you on an emotional roller coaster like no matter what role she's playing and i just love her i think that she deserves so much respect and respect in this game and yes give lynn whitfield 
give her all the all the awards. That's all I'm saying. All the I oh my gosh, she was literally next on my list. So, so get her. Tell me, tell me what, no, what you think. I I agree with everything that you said. Like she is just. And the, the thing is, is her longevity too. Like she's been that, in yes, the yes. entertainment world for years. And yes. like from a thin line between love and hate, that's the movie that I remember um, watching with her and Martin Lawrence. Like yes. I remember that. There's a movie that I did not know about. I learned about it in recent years. It's, it's called Eve's Bayou. Oh, and that you, met, you know, yes. yes. Love that movie. Love that movie. And she did an amazing job in that movie too. Um, she's just a class act. Like she's a class yeah. act, just phenomenal, just graceful. Like she's in she's a legend. Like we, we yeah. literally cannot name actresses without putting her in that in that like Mount Rushmore of, of actresses. Like it's yeah. it's impossible. And she again, like you said, she does not get the recognition she deserves. I don't think like she she needs to get more of that and I, I just I love her like her like you said the delivery especially in Greenlee. Woo, child! Like as the preacher's like, wife, like honey, come she was on, not like, half stepping. I mean, when this woman plays a role, you believe she is that person. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> you know? exactly. Even even remember in that Medea movie, um, mm -hmm. I forget which one. You 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 couldn't stand her, but you loved the character. Like you did, you couldn't yes. help but love her. Like she played an awful mother to her daughters, but she was the mom. Yes. Like you had exactly. to love her. You, you love to hate her. You hate to love her. You know what yes. I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, girl, that's that's mine right there. I, I love Lynn Whitfield. She's timeless. She's and she looks great for her age too. So yes. like amazing. Exactly. I mean. So yes, put some respect on Lynn, Whit Lynn Whitfield's name. So that mm -hmm. was your number three, right? That was mine. Yes. So my number three is the one that I chose that I know Eva is gonna have number one on her list, which is Angela Bassett. Um, so I said the def the definition of like you think of the word strength, you think of the word sophistication, like that is everything. Like I mean, iconically known, you know, for as her role for T as Tina Turner. This woman was Coretta Scott King, Rosa Parks. I mean, to play in Biggie Smalls' mama, like, I mean, and that 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 doesn't even cover, like, that's that's not a, that's not even a fraction of no. her work. But I said that, um, like, just simply put, like, this woman can act, like, period. Seriously. She, you, and, and not to mention, like, her work recently on, you know, Black Panther. I mean. She just, I, I think she's one of those actresses that when you watch her, like, you stay with your jaw dropped. Yeah. Like, she leaves yes. you, like, you stay with your jaw dropped and you have to, like, process the emotions you get from, like, watching her play her characters. And I said, I mean, homegirl 60s looking 25. Like, I'm making everybody it. out here feel bad about this. Literally, like. Everybody yes. okay. Exactly. So I said, give um, Angela Bassett all the Oscars. Stop playing with this woman. <laughs> I just, I like. Okay, forget the order at this point because you already brought up yeah, my, my no, queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If if I if I saw her, I would literally bow at her feet. She she's Period. my queen. Mm -hmm. She is my queen. I love this woman, and I've loved her for yes. years. Like, yes. you know, you, I know, I, I, I know you're number one, and you've already know, you've been known mine. Like, this Angela Bassett is just, like, you, you said everything perfectly. I think her role for me solidified um, was Tina Turner, of course, was, was Love Got to Do With It. Like, just the, the stamina and the, the, the way that she, like, took that role and owned it. Like, Especially, it was such a hard role to play because of the abuse mm. aspect in it and everything exactly. like that. And how she still had to um, pretty much feel what Tina Turner felt every every yeah. night before she went on stage. So it's and just living her daily life with with Ike Turner. So it's it's just the way that she just embodies. Like she mm. she just she owns it. She yeah. owns everything that she does. She is like a another class act. She's on my Mount Rushmore, if you want to call it that. Like. This mm -hmm. woman is timeless. She is yeah. my queen. Yeah. And listen, I understand 
She didn't win, for she didn't win an Oscar. Now, and I and I get, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, she she's been in the game too for a while. So I can't, I'm not gonna not give her her props, but somebody need to give my home, give my auntie an Oscar. Period. Like, stop, stop playing with her. Stop playing with her. Stop put respect on my aunt's name. I'm claiming her as my aunt. And Period. that's that. Because we're not playing this game no more. Like, this is ridiculous. This woman has done so much. She's worked with Denzel Washington, like you said. Oh, it's more, like, come on. Like, she, incomparable. she's incomparable. 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 I, like, totally incomparable. I love her. I love her. She's my favorite of all time. And she's stunning. Like, just beautiful. Love her. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna just bring it up here because, you know, speaking of Tina Turner, Ev happens to do a great Tina Turner impression. I'm not gonna ask her to do it now because she's gonna break her back if she tries it. But I can <laughs> insert clip here. Insert clip of her on, a, on her cruise being Tina Turner. So maybe I'll throw that in for you guys to see. Maybe I'll throw it in at the end, but. Right here, this is another Tina Turner right here, y'all. So I have I have it in my spirit. It's she, in she, my has, spirit. she has the essence, y'all. She has the essence. <laughs> so on a lighter note, mm -hmm. and I have to include this woman in in my in my top five. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Jack K. Ha Harry. Yeah, I forgot about Jack K. Yes. yes, like I feel like man, we gotta put some respect on this lady's name, like. First of all, I mean, AKA who, her role that solidified her spot in my heart for me, which is obviously Lisa Landry on Sister Sister. First of all, this woman is hilarious. Hilarious. Like, and she's just like a fine woman. Like, mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. is just a piece of fun. Like, mm -hmm. she I is. Understand. I said, um, I wrote down like her fashion on Sister Sister, like that was always like her fashion sense. I've always mm -hmm. felt like, I know that was her role as Lisa Landry, but I felt like it embodied who she was in real life. Yes. yes. And I think that I connected with her so much because that part of her like reminded me so much of my mom. Like I remember mm -hmm. watching Sister Sister say like, oh my God, my mother will wear that outfit. My, mo right. my mother would wear something like that or put something yep. like that together with right. her prints and like just everything yes. like her jean jackets with her slacks like the whole the whole thing yeah um i said i so i always felt the connection like watching her like specifically as her role on mm -hmm. sister sister right. um i was like i said I, <laughs> I was thinking about like a funny moment on sister sister and one of them that comes to mind is when she's at the kitchen table sewing so you know she was like a designer yeah, she, mm -hmm. She's sewing, she's starting to run her business. So she's at the table, she got her sewing machine, she's pushing her, her fabric through, and she got a chicken leg on the, <laughs> on the sewing machine. And she's answering the phone and she's like, hold up, please hold, please hold, please hold. <laughs> you remember that? Oh my God. And I just feel like, I feel like she has to make my list because she brought me so much joy as a child. Yeah, I was like, I, I got, I gotta put one in there for my girl Jack K, and that was my mom's too. So that's um, a great ad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, Jack K. Henry, she was um, number two on my list. That's ha a Jack great ad. Mm -hmm. Jackie Harry, yes, I I love I love her, love 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 her. Like you said, I I loved her as sister sister. Um, and I'm in fun fact about her, I think she was a teacher before she became an actress. Mm -hmm. I think oh, she was. Wow. A teacher. Yeah, I, I think I read that somewhere. But um, but yeah, she she's another like she's just hilarious, like you and, said, like and her. she came from way back when she <clears throat> was on um like back. <laughs> I think two two seven. I think two, two, she was seven. On that. Like that was from like mm -hmm. what our, our what they grew up on watching yes. her back in the day. So yes. also put some respect on his late on, on his woman's name. Like she was just somebody like you wanted like you wish like she was a real life friend. It's you true. Know? So it's so true. Mm -hmm. It is so true. So no, I'm I'm all I'm all for that. Um, another queen that I have on my list mm -hmm. is none other than Miss Cheryl Lee Ralph. Mm, that's a good one. Love her. She, I mean, I, I've always, I loved her even on Moesha. She, like, I, that's the way, like, one. she would, um, you know, dress and stuff like that. Like, similarly to Jack K. Harry, like, I, I loved her fashion since yeah. then. I just, she, she was just, just a beautiful woman yeah. on, on the show. Like, and, you know, I, I just, I love, like, 
you, you could tell like she was kind of classically trained, like the way that she acted yes. and um and how she communicated with like Moesha and stuff like that, like on, on the show of Brandy on the show. And I mean, like this queen goes all the way back to Dream Girls. Like she was the original Dream Girl. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and I think and I'm I'm just I'm so thankful that now she's finally getting her just do she's getting her recognition because she plays um uh she she plays a teacher i can't think of the name um i feel so bad i can't think of her name on the show but on abbott elementary yeah she she plays the one of like the main teachers on that show mm -hmm. and um which is um created by quinta brunson and i think when um when she was auditioning for the show like she was talking to quinta she said quinta i want to be the principal and quinta mm -hmm. was like no you i need a queen to play what is this woman's name on the show? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking right now. But Quincy said, I need a queen to play this this role. Mm -hmm. And she, like, she just, she's like one of those women who just has so much wisdom because yes. she's been in the game for so long and who has overcome a lot of obstacles to get where she where she is, mm -hmm. you know, due to her being a black woman, a dark-skinned black woman and in Hollywood, mm -hmm. she wasn't given the opportunities that, that she could have. She even, I've read recently that like she, made some, you know, some decisions with her um, rights to dream girls that could have, you know, set her up for a better tra um, trajectory in her career, but she like sold her rights to dream girls. So, you know, mm -hmm. so early on in her career. So like, just like think, like I say wisdom because she's made the mistakes. She's learned from them. She's been around a lot of people. Like she even was trained by like Sidney Portier. Like they, wow. you know, she was very connected with him. So it's just like, I just, I, I love her. I, I love her. And I think she's Jamaican, so I got to look, have love for my Jamaican yes, auntie. Yeah, yes, right. my Jamaican auntie. Yes. So, yeah, she, I, I love her. And she and she just, I think she's also in her 60s and looks, doesn't even look a day over 25. Right. Like, this woman is Come on. beautiful. Putting oh. us to shame, girl. Yes. Okay, so my number one, which Ev already knows, in which this is probably this is the only one that is ranked like she is mm -hmm. my top the lovely the poise the everything the classy felicia rochelle yes. Like, yes. i yes. mean it's almost unexplainable what this woman made me feel like watching her on the cosby's and just that whole the whole role of her playing claire huxtable like mm -hmm. She, yo, she really helped me through through things. Like yeah. by watching yeah. that, like by watching her and just, just, I mean, even though you know it's just the role, but just the way she executed her her like her mothering yes. in that as that character and just everything. Up, first of all, she, I mean, oh. the the amount of beauty, like. Yeah. I, not only did I love her, I just really remember, like, she is literally one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Like, really when is. I watched her as Claire Huxtable, I, I always thought that about her. Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> what I have to mention, like, and this is one episode that I could replay this specific part over mm -hmm. and over. I don't know if y'all remember the one episode where Vanessa, the one of the daughters, Vanessa, mm -hmm. she had went, she had went out to Baltimore for some concert. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. So yeah, I man, we gotta roll that clip. Yes. And they were worried about her. She said she was going somewhere else. They didn't know where she was. And the way, I mean, the way that Claire Huxtable went in <laughs> on her when they finally found out where she was and got her home. And then yes. you have Bill standing there in the background, like, you know, shutting it because he got to let his wife do her thing. That's but right. I laugh because every time she asked her a question, wait, I wrote it down. She she would tell her to shut up. Like she would say, hey, are you having fun? Why you big fun, big fun. And right. then she would go to say something. She'd be like, shut up. And then she was like, she was like, don't you dare open your mouth when I ask you a question. And I just remember like, Oh my goodness. I, yeah. I, I remember being a kid and saying like, man, that's the type of mom I want to be. Like, yes. and just, just how amazing she was like as a mom, which even though mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes, yeah, it's fake, but those roles, like they're influential, exactly. you know? And that's, that's to me what acting is about. Like these actresses and actors portraying these roles and then it having an impact on the person who's watching because 
even though it's fake or it, 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 it isn't real, but it still consumes some type of rea reality. Like you can't yeah. connect with it on a real life level. You sure. know? Um, I just said like, for me, she is so poised and so legal and so intelligent. Yes. And her fashion as well. Yeah. On the Cosby's, like I was so, I just, I feel like I was just so inspired by Felicia yeah. Rashad. Like she meant like, she, and, and I'm gonna go back to her role on as Claire Huxtable, but mm -hmm. she is very similar in real life. Yeah, okay, right. To right. like who she is, like when she speaks and the way she speaks, like when I've seen her like in interviews and things, I'm like, mm -hmm. like that's Claire Huxtable. You know exactly, right. So um, I think she brought up a lot of who she really was to that role, mm -hmm. which is very inspiring. And yes. just like saying like, man, like, that, I, like that's the type of woman I would as as aspire to be, you know? So yes. Alicia Rashad was definitely my number one. Yeah, I, yes, I, I knew it. I knew it even before. I know, I called it. That's the, the, yeah, you called it. I knew you was going to yes. know that one, though. Yes, and she's definitely, definitely, she, there's no way she could not end up on my list. I mean, we're, we're talking about a show that, regardless of whatever happened with Bill Cosby, yes. we're talking about the show in itself. Like, it just shaped how black people were viewed on television. Yes. Like yes. A, 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 a black doctor, a lawyer, a black lawyer, like having, living in, in what they live in Brooklyn or something like that, in a yeah. brownstone, like with kids, like that, it just, it just, re, it just shaped how we saw ourselves. They, they were a reflection of us and how we could aspire to be. And Felicia Rashad being the the mother, the, the, the matriarch of that family was just, just spoke so much about him. She was a force and she still is. And just timeless beauty, timeless beauty. Like this woman yes. is just impeccable. Like I, I love her, I respect her, her yes. body of work. Um, I think she's done like some Broadway shows as well, yes. which I heard that she did amazing on. Like she's just great. Like, and I, I saw her like walk some runway recently and she's just like, oh, like just, oh my gosh. It's like, like regal and stuff, regal. yes. It's you think that that 30 minute ride home was something, believe me, we've only just begun. You're <laughs> lying on the floor of some burning building, dying of asphyxia, and you're down in Baltimore having big fun. Weren't you, Vanessa? Isn't that where you were? Didn't you go down there to Baltimore and have big fun, Vanessa? Tell me, didn't you go for big fun? Mom? Shut up! <laughs> Don't you dare open your mouth when I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Rudy, go to bed. <laughs> I only hope that you can have the same experience, Vanessa. I hope that one day you come to realize exactly how it feels to think that your child's life is in danger. You have taken us from levels of frenzy, panic, distress, and now that we know you're okay, rage. <laughs> That's where we are right now, Vanessa. We are in rage because we know that you have been to Baltimore, Maryland with the wretched to have big fun. Big fun. Isn't that what you had, Vanessa? Didn't you have big fun? Well, let's see now. You had donuts. <laughs> In Wilmington, Delaware. Cliff, tell me, have you ever been to Wilmington for donuts? <laughs> Not on the weekend. There she is, sitting up in the local donut shop in Wilmington, Delaware, sipping hot chocolate and eating crumbs, and the car gets stolen. Now, a normal individual with half a gnat's brain would have said, I'm going home now, but you? <laughs> Oh, no, not you. You and your three friends put yourselves on a bus and go joyride off to Baltimore. All the way to Baltimore. It's official. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Ding. Sisters Bonafide.